Recently, I've been focusing on creating a video about a library from an architectural standpoint. I've been doing it with a classmate, and we're still in the processes of defining the project and kind of setting and preparing everything. Well, why am I telling you this? Well, because I want to introduce something to you, and it's called a storyboard. Guys, what's up, Aragorn here, and as I told you in that intro, today we're going to be talking about storyboards. Now, a storyboard is a sequence of drawings, or in some cases, pictures, that can depict how scenes are transitioning, or even how scenes are fitting together in a larger video project. Often you'll have writing on there, descriptions about character movement, uh, camera movement, effects, or just notes that you want to have for later. And what it helps to do is organize what your video is going to look like in the end. Now the reason I added that intro in is because this is something that I'm somewhat new to. It's not a completely novel concept to me. I mean, I have used storyboards to some degree in the past, but normally the types of videos I create involve me in a static location with a camera facing me way over there. I don't have a need to use a storyboard since my storyboard would just be endless pictures of me like this. But for a project where we're going to be using various different views, various different camera tricks, a storyboard is very useful because it helps to organize what your final video is going to look like. Rather than going in there and just taking a million different shots and trying to piece everything together in post-production, a storyboard can help you really just get down to filming what you need to film, and then editing it in a way that makes sense later on. It's actually very similar to a script. If you guys haven't seen that video that I made, feel free to click on it, you don't have to, but in case you haven't seen it, storyboards are essentially like visual scripts. And I know what you might be saying. Well, Aragorn, this doesn't really apply to me. I mean, I'm, I'm a gamer. I don't produce long films. To which I would reply, not all of us produce short films or skits. We don't always have the need to organize a bunch of different scenes, especially if you're doing gameplay or vlogs. But let's say you're doing some kind of creative video, some machinima in a video game. A storyboard could actually help a lot with that because it would help you organize your video once again, even though you're not necessarily using a camera. Even the most basic storyboard can help. For example, if I wanted to put a random video of me making toast in the middle of this video, I could totally represent that in a storyboard and it would make sense. Obviously that isn't exactly the best example, but you know, do as you wish. Anyway guys, I know this video wasn't super comprehensive on the idea of storyboards, but to be honest, it's not such a crazy concept to wrap your head around. If you'd like me to go more in depth, let me know in the comments below. Do you have any comments? Do you have any questions? Leave them down below. And as always, leave your suggestions for next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. And please let me know why you gave it a thumbs down so I can improve myself and not feel so bad and cry myself to sleep at night. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. That was weird. Click the links if you want to see more from Freedom. And if you want to see more of my ugly mug, just click right here.